Welcome back. Well, just one of the events we love getting behind and one that I feel particularly close to is the annual big freeze at the MCG. Celebrities taking an icy plunge to help fight motor neuron disease and it's set to happen again Monday, June 14, during the annual Melbourne versus Collingwood clash at the G. A leading force behind the event is Fight M&D campaign director Beck Danaher. Welcome to you, Beck. And right beside her in the fight is another Beck, neuroscientist and M&D researcher Beck Shane. Welcome to both Becks. Good to see you. Thanks Thank for you. Us. Thanks for having us. Start with you, Beck. Uh, it is an event that's close to our hearts. Our love of uh, your dad is is extreme, and the campaign you put out recently, I think, had all of us uh, cry, crying with an update on your dad. But to see you smile and to see him going so well just makes us all happy. Yeah, he's doing amazingly well. I sort of say that. The average lifespan for someone with MND when they diagnose is only 27 months. It's been over seven years. So he's still right there beside us. He's in the video. He's been um, such a force at Fight MND. And he's got that cheeky smile and that sense of humour is certainly still with him at the moment. Oh, 100%. You can't get away his fighting spirit and he's, so, he's such a funny guy. So it, MND is taking his voice, which has been really hard for us, especially as a family. But um, you see his cheeky smile and he throw a few j jokes in there and he's always the one that laughs the most out of it. So <laughs> he's going very well. Now, Beth, you're at the coalface of uh, the fight against uh, to find a cure for motor neuron disease. Can you give us an update on the research and where you're at? Um, obviously, our ultimate goal is to find a cure um, and also to find effective treatments for the disease as well. So what's been happening really globally and across Australia is a lot of uh, research momentum in that sort of uh, drug testing phase. Yep. So what we've been able to see is, is some drugs that have gone through um, th from the lab into sort of early phase and late phase clinical, clinical trial testing. So we're really excited to see the outcomes of those and we really hope that we're going to be able to bring new treatments to people with MND. Can you just take a little step back, Beck, for those that aren't familiar with motor neuron disease? H how does it start? What is it? And is there any reason or genetic understanding as to why people get it? Yeah, so MND is a disease that kills um, nerve cells or motor neurons that control our movement. So in a, a person that's diagnosed, um, what they'll usually do is start to feel symptoms um, you know, in their hands or they'll feel weakness or start to drop things um, or some people will start in their feet or in others it can start in what we call the bulba, which is uh, where your speech or, or swallowing can be affected. Um, and then as the disease progresses, it'll sort of move with that paralysis throughout the body. So we don't really know, or researchers don't really know what the cause of the disease in, is. In about 10% of cases, um, it's what we call familial. So it will run through a family um, and that is often linked to um, inheritance of, of genes or yep. gene mutations that are misbehaving. Uh, but in 90% of cases, it, it just appears to be random. So we don't know what causes it. Um, and really we need to understand what causes it to be able to treat it. Now, Beg, the big freeze at the G has become one of the iconic uh, moments every year and we look, look forward to it. Last year it had to be done online for COVID reasons. You must be excited to be back at the MCG and with Melbourne flying so well this year. Absolutely flying at the moment, which is so good. As a D supporter, we're very <laughs> excited. Uh, but it's fantastic to have it back at the MCG. We really missed it last year and we're really thankful. The AFL clubs did an amazing job to allow it to continue. But there's just nothing better to be at the middle of that MCG, seeing those sliders go in. You know what that feels like. And to turn around and see all the beanies, to know that there's an army backing us and supporting us and, and really trying to make a difference for everyone out there who is suffering from MND, it's an incredible experience. Experience. I think Nick Rewalt took the event to a new level. Uh, he set a high <laughs> benchmark. Uh, Beck, is there any surprises this year? Anything you can tell? Oh, I can't wait to see it. He did. <laughs> he set that bar so high. Absolutely. It's amazing. It was a great rendition. It was but awesome, wasn't it? We, really, we got some secrets in there. We're pretty okay. excited of what, what's bubbling away in the background, but it's all top secret. Oh. So we'll see what we can pull out. But we yeah. really ask everyone to tune in. You yeah. know, get down to the MCG if you can. If yep. not, it's going to be on Channel 7 and it's going to be a ripping show and hopefully we can raise as many funds as we can because we've got to keep these people busy. <laughs> we do, Beck. Uh, $48 million in the past eight years. It is just an extraordinary uh, result, the Danaher family and the Fight MND group. How does this money help directly to, to, to fund the research? Being able to commit these funds every year means that we're keeping the momentum going. So, um, you know, Eight years ago, there was, you know, some great findings in the lab, but researchers just didn't have that funds to keep things moving forward. Um, so what it means is that any discovery we have, any treatment that we have that's in early testing, we can keep pushing it forward. Now, it is a badge of honour mm -hmm. to get one of the beanies, and I, 
came across my first uh, person a few weeks back. They had their new beanie on. They come up to you and they say, this is Big Freeze 7. And it's uh, it's just something that everyone wants to support. That sea of blue beanies in the crowd's fantastic. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. This little beanie, this humble beanie <laughs> is just so much more powerful. We're actually calling it the VIB, the very important beanie. It's, <laughs> it's not something you can just put on your head. You're making a difference. Yeah. We're changing the lives of people in the future. And we're just asking everyone to, to make sure you get a beanie, show your support. Yeah, if you want a lucky few that can get to the MCG, it's always one of the great days on the calendar. But as you said, if not, uh, tune into Channel 7 or you can head to Fight MND to buy a beanie. And for more details on how you can join the MND Army and stage your own event, well, Beck and Beck, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you so much for having us. Good to see thanks. you. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Put them on. <laughs> <laughs> I like these ones. They're good, aren't they?